scores a goal. Can you believe it? It's extraordinary. If you're Rory Sloan today, so take Tex out of it because he might be caught up in it. If you're Rory Sloan, what are you thinking about your football club right now? Well, you're, you're holding your breath, I think. You're holding your, the, your breath and you're almost hoping as a senior player within that group that what we all think is going to happen doesn't happen. So, so externally, everyone's saying, well, you've got to blow it up. You've got you to make huge personnel changes to the playing list. The playing list is too old. There's, there's X, Y and Z problems with, with Adelaide. But if you're one of the senior guys that's a part of it, and I've lived it, and Bob, you've lived it, when your club decides to blow it up and start again, it is a, it is a really, really difficult thing to swallow, particularly when you've been close and you've tasted it and you've felt like you're almost there, to then spit out the other end so quickly, if that's the path they go down, it's, you, have to, you almost have to hit the reset button on your, on your purpose as a player. And that's a very, very difficult thing for a player to do, to go from living and breathing for a premiership to, OK, well, that, that might not be possible if we blow this thing up. Nick, big shit. Yeah. Nick uses the phrase, you know, holding, you know, holding your breath. And I would say on top of that, you're holding the group together. You bracing for the worst case scenario and you know that some of your some of your mates, some of your brothers are not going to be there and who knows how far the damage goes. But as the leader, your job is still to to protect this group and to hold on to them and make sure you're still a unit despite the fact you know that it's there's going to be some damage. Would we would it be foolish enough to suggest that the club, be it Rashuto or, or the CEO, to go to the captain and the, and the leadership group and say, we need to talk to you about the coach, the head of football, the football director. Is that is that what is going to happen? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. If if they're going to go down the path of of reinvesting in youth, of trading out some senior players, of cutting some players, well then they're going to need players like Rory Sloan. To, to be a part of that journey. So the conversation will shift to, we need you, we almost need you now more than ever because the, this is about legacy now and, and what we need you to do for the young group coming through. The scenario is a little bit different. Is I will presume that Rory Sloan is going to be interviewed by four external people who have been put in place. Yeah. And that's a big moment, I reckon. Yeah. Is what... what what am I expected? What is expected of me here? What is the right thing to do? And how does that grapple up? How, how does that grapple with your natural instinct toward holding it well, all together? I, I, and I think language is a big part of this. So when you when you're being questioned by an external review, you would be wouldn't you be sort of listening for what angle are they going for here? Where where do they already think it's headed? And then when you're listening to your own club, the language around we're going to reset rebuild those things senior players will be listening to very very intently about where the direction is headed